안녕하세요. 한국 언니예요. Hello guys. This is Korean Unni that makes learning Korean fun and easy. And in this episode of Korean Unni, we are going to learn the top 10 must-know Korean phrases for asking directions. To be honest, you can survive in Korea even though you don't really know these phrases because there are apps and we are using smartphones. We're smartphone generations. We have these apps for maps and everything, so we actually don't need to ask another person to go there. But still, these are some useful phrases to know and you are going to learn some useful vocabulary and phrases and grammar points. So make sure you watch this till the end. Then, why don't we start? The first phrase is 여기 어디에요? 여기 어디에요? 여기 is here, as you know. And 어디에요 is where is. So 여기 어디에요 is where is here? Where is this place? Where am I? Is 여기 어디에요? Right? So where am I? Um, in Korea, we don't really ask where am I? 나 어디에 있어요? or 저 어디에 있어요? We don't say like that. We just say 여기가 어디에요? Where is this place? So ask someone, oh, 여기가 어디에요? Or without the particle 가, we can just ask 여기 어디에요? Meaning, where is this place? The next phrase is 블라 블라 어디 있어요? 블라 블라 어디 있어요? 어디 is a question word that means where. You can check out my all about the Korean question words video. Um, you will learn all these question words like who, where, when, what, why, everything in that video. So make sure you check that out. And 있어요 means there is. You know, 있어요, there is, 없어요, there isn't. So blah blah 어디 있어요 means where is this place. So we can say 화장실 어디 있어요? 화장실 means bathroom. So 화장실 어디 있어요? Would be where is the bathroom? Um, um, what else? 도서관 어디 있어요? Where is the 도서관? 도서관 being library. 홍대 입구 어디 있어요? Where is the 홍익 University station? 홍대 입구 역 어디 있어요? Where is the 홍대 입구 역 station? The next phrase is blah blah e 어떻게 가요? blah blah e 어떻게 가요? e is a place particle. Many people um, many people confuse this with another particle eso. e and eso they mix up these particles a lot. Uh, let me tell you how to distinguish these two particles. You use e particle e when you are using moving verbs like kada to go. 오다 to come, 다니다 to come and go. And you use this particle 에서 when the verb is like stable. Um, for example, 도서관에서 밥을 먹어요. You eat at a library. Um, 집에서 공부를 해요. You study at uh, your house. So in this case, you use 에서. When the verb is like staying in the one, staying in one place and doing something, and when the verb is like to go somewhere, to come somewhere, kada uda, then you use this part, this particle e. All right. So blah blah e, otoke. What is otoke? Otoke is another question word that means how. So. See, make sure you check out the all about the question words video, which have everything: who, when, what, um, where, how, why, everything. So 어떻게 means how, and 가요 means to go. So blah blah 에 어떻게 가요? How do we go? Blah blah. So for example, we can say 화장실에 어떻게 가요? How do we go to the 화장실, the bathroom? 서울역에 어떻게 가요? 서울역 is Seoul Station. So how do we go to the Seoul Station? Next phrase we are going to learn is 오른쪽으로 가세요. 오른쪽으로 가세요. 음. 오른쪽. What is 오른쪽? 오른쪽 is right way. 
오른 is like right side. So 오른쪽 쪽 means side. So 오른쪽 right side, right way. 으로 is a particle that means like to that way, to. So 오른쪽으로 to the right side 가세요. Go, go that way. So 오른쪽으로 가세요. Go right way. Go to the right way. Does this mean? Does this make sense? Go like turn right. All right. So literally go right way, but in English, uh, turn right. 오른쪽으로 가세요. Then what would be turn left? 왼쪽. 왼쪽. 오른쪽 is right side. 왼쪽 is left side. So 오른쪽으로 가세요. Go right. 왼쪽으로 가세요. Go left. What about go straight? We say 쭉 가세요. 쭉 가세요. Easy, right? 오른쪽, but uh, be careful, it's different. 오른쪽, 쪽, like 쪽, 쪽, 쪽 is actually an onomatopoeia. Is that right? Onomatopoeia for kissing. 쪽, 쪽, 쪽 is 쪽, 쪽, 쪽 in Korean. So 오른쪽으로 가세요. And 쭉, it's kind of different. 쭉, 쭉. Actually, juk we say like sexy and glamorous people. We say juk juk bang bang because juk is like juk stretch and bang is like ooh like this. So juk juk bang bang is like stretched and glamorous. We call them juk juk bang bang. So this is juk from juk juk bang bang and 오른쪽 from juk juk like kiss juk juk. So kind of different. 오른쪽으로 가세요. Go right. 왼쪽으로 가세요. Go left. And 쭉 가세요. Go straight. Fifth phrase is the same with the phrase that we learned before, but in a different, uh, different way. So 오른쪽으로 가세요. We can also say 우회전 하세요. 우회전 하세요. This is actually in Chinese um, character. So based on Chinese character. The 오른쪽으로 가세요 is based on just Korean words. 오른 means right, 쪽 means way, blah blah blah. But 우회전 하세요. 하세요 is the ending, do something. But 우회전 is based on Chinese characters. Like English, like some English words are based on Latin words. It's something like that. But the reason why I'm telling you this 우회전, this Chinese character-based words, is because uh, in navigations, they use this uh, Chinese character-based um, phrases. In Maybe in ordinary life, like when you ask, oh, how do we go there? 어떻게 가요? Then they can say, oh, 오른쪽으로 가세요. They, can, they probably will say with these Korean-based uh, words, but when you ask, I mean, but not when you ask navigations. Navigation will tell you in 우회전 하세요. 우회전 하세요. It sounds a little bit more formal when you say it with Chinese base characters. So 우회전 하세요. Turn right and left would be 좌회전 하세요. 좌회전 하세요. 좌회전 하세요. And 쭉 가세요, which was go straight. In Chinese characters, it will be 직진 하세요. 직진 하세요. 우회전 하세요. 좌회전 하세요. 직진 하세요. 우회전 하세요 was same with 오른쪽으로 가세요. 좌회전 하세요 was same with 왼쪽으로 가세요. 쭉 가세요 was same with 직진 하세요. I think probably you, your brain is overloaded with so many information <laughs> if you took if you took notes don't forget to hashtag dong dong squad when you're posting on instagram <sighs> a little bit of break and let's go to the next phrase the sixth phrase is 가까워요 가까워요 means it is close so let's make it a little advanced we can say um, McDonald's는 집에서 가까워요. McDonald's, McDonald's는 particle. 집, home, 에서 is a particle that means from. If you watched my all about the Korean, all about the particles video, you would know. 가까워요 means close. 
So McDonald's is close from home. 가까워요. Close. 가까워요. Close. <gasps> wow, 진짜 가까워요. Wow, that is so close. <gasps> 대박, 완전 가까워. Wow, it's totally close. Yes, since we learned this phrase, 가까워요, the next phrase would be far away, which is 멀어요. 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 Far away. Oh, wow, 진짜. McDonald's는 우리 집에서 너무 멀어요. <laughs> this, is, this is a terrible example sentence. McDonald's is too far away from my home. Well, maybe it isn't. McDonald's is actually really close to my home, but still. McDonald's는 우리, 우리 집, we say like our home in Korea. 우리 집에서 너무 멀어요. It's too far away. 멀어요. Far away. 멀어요. What was the opposite word? 가까워요. 가까워요. <laughs> For those of you who are like, this is the, the whole new information, I know it would be like too much information to swallow, um, but get used to it, I guess, or split it, uh, watch it, like kind of split watch it, or take notes and review them every time you see. It's because this video like is uploaded only once a week, so you have this whole week to review. Next phrase is 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나? 얼마나? It's like 얼마나 plus something would be like how blah blah blah. And 걸려요 means to take, to take, like to take time. So 얼마나 걸려요 is asking how long would it take? 얼마나 걸려요? How long would it take? 강남에서 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? From 강남 to 홍대, how long does it take? I'm um, sorry if there is some weird noise. It's my mom washing dishes. I couldn't ask and I cannot ask, uh, go out and ask her to stop washing dishes just because of my video. So please understand if it is kind of too loud. <laughs> just um, wish I become more successful and able to um, rent my own studio. <laughs> so, 강남에서 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take from 강남 to 홍대?에서까지. 에서까지 is another particle of A에서 B까지 means from A to B. Um, I went over this particle video in All About the Particles Part 2, which is coming... Uh, which we went over, actually. We, we went over it. So, 강남에서 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? 강남에서 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take from 강남 to 홍대? We learned A에서 B까지 in All About the Particles Part 2 video if you remember or if you are a big fan of BTS and you know this rap, 사투리 rap called 팔도 강산 then you would know 서울 강원부터 경상도 따따따따따따따따따 Oh, here they use 부터 and 까지 but it is same with 에서 까지 So, 홍대에서 아, 강남에서 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take from 강남 to 홍대? You can also say 강남부터 홍대까지 얼마나 걸려요? Now that we ask questions, we need to know how to reply. So the next phrase, the ninth phrase is 걸어서 5분 걸려요. 걸어서 5분 걸려요. 5분, you know what that is? 5분, 5, 5 minutes. So five minutes. 5분. 걸려요. It takes. It takes five minutes. 5분 걸려요. But how? 걸어서. 걸어서. 걸어서 comes from the verb 걷다, which means to walk. 걸어서 by walking. 5분 걸려요. It takes five minutes by walking. Then the next phrase, the last phrase is 지하철 타고 10분 걸려요. 지하철 타고 10분 걸려요. 10분, what is 10분? 10, yes, 10 분, minutes. 10분, 10 minutes 걸려요, takes. 
How? 지하철 타고. 지하철. What is 지하철? Yes, subway. 지하철. Subway. 타고. By taking. It comes from the verb 타다. And 타고. By taking. 10분 걸려요. 지하철 타고 10분 걸려요. It takes 10 minutes by subway. You guys know that you can change the number uh, before 분 and change, change it like oh, 3분 걸려요. It takes 3 minutes. 1분 걸려요. It takes 1 minute. Actually, you can just reply by saying just the, mi the number and the minutes like when someone asks 얼마나 걸려요? Then you can just say 1분. 1분. They will totally get what you mean, but it will just look unpolite, but which is fine because you're a foreigner, even though you just say Ilbun, they'll they'll think, oh, he's a he or she is a foreigner, so that's fine. So it's like a cheat for foreigners, but but still if you want to impress people, then you can be like, ah, it takes five minutes by walking. Or maybe Omit the, uh, maybe delete the 걸어서 and just say 3분 걸려요. It takes 3 minutes, that is enough to impress people. I hope these 10 phrases, I know that uh, you were going to say you already forgot what the first phrase was, but you can always go back and see what it is and you can always download the PDF and from my Patreon page, patreon.com slash koreanonni and review them whenever, where, wherever you go or you can write down and take notes and review them by yourself. So I hope you guys find out a way to effect, effective, effect, effectively use my videos. Uh, please subscribe and click on the notification button to get notifications from for my videos. I download every Monday, Friday, 8 a.m. KSD and I do live streams on 11 a.m. KSD every week. So make sure you join the live stream as well. Uh, my Instagram account is Korean under dash under underscore underscore on me and uh, if you have anything you like to post and you want me to see it on Instagram hashtag dong dong swag I mean <laughs> dong dong swag where does this come from hashtag dong dong squad then I will see you in my next video 영상 봐주셔서 감사하고요 다음 시간에 봐요 <laughs>